another edition of Trade Talk TV. Today we've got John from Grape Shot in the office. John, thanks for coming in today. Great to see you. You too. Uh, before we, so today we're talking about um, the two key parts of RT, which is uh, the user and the URL. Um, but before we talk about that and explain why keywords are such an important part of the split, I want John to explain a little bit about Grape Shot. You know, who are you and where you fit into the ecosystem? We're a technology company in Cambridge, uh, about 35 people, got an office in New York, in London. We process about a billion bids an hour, mm. and we run about 10,000 campaigns a month, and it's all about the technology of what's on the page before you buy it. There you have a pure play tech player in ad tech, very rare indeed. But today, John, we'll talk about um, keywords and display. So we were talking earlier about two key parts of R2B. You talk about the URL and the user. Could you talk a little bit about that and why keywords are such, should be an integral part of the display process. Okay, so um, when we look at the bid stream, we tend to get very excited about the user. Yeah. So there's a lot of cookie retargeting, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are actually after the same people, uh, often synced by the, you know, all the different platforms yeah. are chasing the same people. And we find it's very competitive, because you're actually all looking for the auto intenders, yeah. or what have you. Secondly, um, that price point, as per Forrester, do I need a new pen? Yeah, you don't know. Um, the price point essentially going up. So I think Forrester said it's about $3, mm -hmm. expect it to be $6 soon. Mm -hmm. And we've also got privacy issues. So what are we doing with third party audiences and how are we buying on RTB? Mm -hmm. The whole industry seems to be preoccupied with this. The other piece of information is URL. So what do we think about the URL? Oh well, it's on my white list or it's on my black list. So I can be basically advertising for a bank, putting them on the great New York Times, mm. and it's all about bankers fraud at Barclays. Mm -hmm. That is bad for my brand if it's Barclays. Secondly, what I might do is go, ooh, business? Or am I actually in auto? What kind of category am I buying? Mm -hmm. So these are predefined either URLs or domains actually sitting in these segments. Yeah. Okay. Now, actually, if I'm Toyota, do I actually want to buy something in the auto segment? Mm -hmm. What am I actually buying? Is it a whole website? Uh, is it actually the page on New York Times? So what we do is we say, look, if I'm Toyota, I want the Toyota brand, I want the Prius, I want stuff around the environment. This is all about people who are reading about energy efficiency, yeah. but I don't want stuff about accidents, and I don't want stuff about the police. So essentially, this is a very granular way of saying, before I buy something on RTB for my brand Toyota, I don't know whether it's business or auto segments and it's talking about police accidents. I don't know whether it's about Toyota mm -hmm. or it's about you know, car crashes or something new. Uh, it's got nothing to do with Toyota. Yeah. If I want to reduce my wastage out of the billion of bids per hour, I want to just find the right context for my brand. Now the key point is the price points of users are very high, but here in the URL space, you can find really relevant context at very small prices. So essentially, you've got less competition. Uh, so the competition is down, the margin is up, and the most important thing is relevance. Where you have relevance, you're reading a page about Toyota and the Prius, or energy efficiency, and you put that Toyota brand up on the, on the page. You actually improve the click-through rate, and you reduce the CPA. Now we have about 120 buyers on AppNexus, we're one of the most used apps on that platform. Mm -hmm. And effectively, they are seeing really clear performance. And I think it's two types of opportunity. One is to tell a story. So if you're a pharma brand, you want yeah. to go after migraines and headaches and really control where you put that pharma brand. But you really want to deliver performance as well. Mm -hmm. So you've got kind of brand relevance coupled with uh, efficiency and less wastage in your buying. And you do so, you have a process of pre buys and post buys where you can basically ingest information. So, just yeah, you know, on this side. Okay, so if we take the value of the page, um, there's one problem with this kind of approach. You've got to sit down and actually put the words together. Yeah. Now, our industry is dominated in online, nothing about display. It's actually called search. You know, Google is a very big player up there. Well, it is the only player, it is. Okay, yeah. it is keywords. So, yeah. I'm looking for Toyota. Now, in display, we're offering exactly the same opportunity, mm -hmm. but it still takes time to put those keywords together. Yeah. Now, agencies have built whole industries with kind of not just SEO, but effectively, where am I buying the users who are searching with intent? So they've already got long lists of keywords. Okay, so just imported in. Mm -hmm. okay? But it still takes effort, and you're predetermining what you buy. How about you take all your display campaigns, 
all 100% of what you buy. You do a billion impressions per, per month, I yeah. say. Now, you're running a BlackBerry campaign, just watch the CPM, watch the click-through rate, watch the CPA. And you turn out on BlackBerry, that BlackBerry performs best in golf. You actually get the best CPA in golf context, not business. Mm -hmm. So how about reducing your business buy and going for more golf? Mm. So you learn about patterns. You actually discover that certain auto brands like Toyota might work well with dog lovers walking along the beach. And it's not about business or auto intenders. It's so actually about... Not based on assumptions. You're actually showing uh, where these people actually interact with the ad spell. And what we've seen, we, we launched an app on AbNexus uh, that actually harvests all the log level data and you can discover these patterns and you can say, you know, out of the 100% of the impressions I buy, which are the 50% that have got the best mm -hmm. kind of margins or the best mm -hmm. CPA? But quite a few of the traders have said, look, we don't actually want that. We're investing in our own DMP. We are building our CRM of what the audience of our ads see. Mm -hmm. So effectively, you can inject a billion lines of logs, transform them into the categories and keywords. So suddenly, this trading desk can take their first party, um, first party cookies and start to understand which users are reading about the Toyota and the Prius, which ones are reading about the BMW. Mm. So suddenly, they've got a second story to tell, which is, I am understanding and learning about the audiences of your ads. I'm seeing that the best clicks or the best CPA come from people who are into dog lovers, dog, you know, loving their dogs yeah. and their cats, and not actually about people who are trying to uh, go to Silverstone and look at Formula One. And of course, this is important now, because yeah, as you said, Google have introduced keywords into the display mix, and I think obviously there needs to be an option for the rest of the industry. Well, if you go into the double click um, bid manager, uh, like most other sort of DSP consoles, you can obviously see Geo, uh, and that relates to your IP address. Yeah. You can see third party, cookies, yeah. so you know, blue kai and the rest, yeah. um, and essentially you can load up your white lists, which might be particular you know, controlled sets of sites, and you can do all your frequency capping. But the one thing you've now got with Google is keywords. Which is a big thing. So you can now control exactly what you're buying on the Google stack in display with keywords. Mm -hmm. And everything they've done in search is now a, you're able to do in, in display. display RTB. So obviously the alternative uh, to Google, effectively, well, the industry does. I think, I, I'm, you know, I actually go back to the early days of the internet and uh, at a time when I was like with Yahoo in like 1995, 96, they said, no, we don't believe in search. What we want to do is divide the whole web, the website, uh, the web into business and into auto and the like. Yeah. And what's strange to me is, you know, 15, 20 years on in display, we organize the world into these simple segments. Whereas Google's just motored ahead with keywords, and I think now's the time for display to wake up to keywords. Okay. Full control, full transparency, mm. and you're giving the brand a, a real granular set of what they need and what they want to avoid. Sean, thanks very much for coming and explaining that uh, breakdown of the OTP stream and why keywords are such an important thing in the uh, display. Thanks. John, thanks very much. And that was Trader Talk TV. See you next week.